My name is Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, and I am proud to be part of such a momentous occasion in your lives. While the past 12 months have been different, today remains a day of celebration, even if it is in an unconventional format. I would be remiss if I did not give a big shout out to the individuals who made the most significant impact on your lives every day. The teachers and faculty members who helped shape your education, challenge your thinking, and expose you to new ideas. They broke you down to build you back up again. To the parents, friends, and extended family members who are joining this exciting commencement exercise to mark the achievement that you have accomplished and that we are finally seeing come to culmination today. From every distressed phone call about an upcoming exam, every anxious moment about life after graduation. You all are the real MVPs. And most importantly, students, congratulations. You did it. Today is all about you. So I will not take up too much time, but I do want to issue a challenge from me to you. I want to dare you to be bold. Be a bold thinker. Be a bold innovator. Be a bold change maker. Do not be afraid to think outside of the box and stand tall for your beliefs. Today marks the next step in your journey. So take time to enjoy this moment. Soak it all in because tomorrow you take those bold next steps. And I cannot wait to see what becomes of you and your journey. Thank you all for allowing me to be part of your special day and always stand tall for Michigan. Good morning, students, staff, parents, guardians, and distinguished guests. Welcome to Munger's Elementary Middle School's 2021 Virtual 8th Grade Promotional Ceremony. This is not how I, your teachers, or especially your parents, envisioned your promotional ceremony. But just like the rest of the world, we must adjust and adapt to things beyond our control. This is a very special class for me because my first year as an assistant principal at Munger back in 2013, many of you were in the first grade here at Munger. We have all grown so much these past eight years, some more than others because many of you are taller than me now. From your earliest stages of learning in elementary to your present eighth grade year, you have had struggles and triumphs you have made great memories and friendships, and some not so great, but you've made it. It is at this very moment, I am confident that your teachers, parents, and family who have guided you along the way have prepared you for such a time as this. I could not be prouder of all of you in this eighth grade class. Completing your eighth grade requirements is a big achievement under any circumstances. Some of you have overcome so many obstacles in your own personal lives. Along with the usual challenges of growing up, you have had to deal with the added pressures of managing friendships and undesirable expressions on social media. And now you, you are having to learn how to live in a society that has been completely changed by a global pandemic. Wearing masks everywhere, constantly washing your hands and staying six feet apart from other people have really been a challenge. But I know you will take all the lessons and life skills you have learned at Munger and continue to believe in yourself, work hard and persevere during difficult and challenging times. You are a very intelligent and resilient group of students who I am confident will achieve and accomplish great things in high school and beyond. High school is a big step, but you can do it. There are many things that you must have though in order to matriculate successfully through high school. But the one I would like to stress to you today is discipline. Discipline, not desire, determines your destiny. You may have the desire to do something, 
but you must have the discipline to successfully achieve it. It is not necessarily something we like, but life demands it, and so does success. Always remember to set goals, be kind to others, and most importantly, always love and believe in yourself. Class of 2025, I'll leave you with this quote. There are no limits to what you can accomplish when you know who you are and have faith in what you can do by Stedman Graham. It has been my honor and my pleasure being your principal. Thank you all and stay safe. To the future class of 2025, congratulations. I am Ms. Carter, the assistant principal of the middle school. I just want you to remember a few things. Be strong and picture the moment. Be unique and focus on the important. Be motivated, be memorable, and frame the future. Be excited and capture the good times. Be resilient and develop from the negative, no matter where you are, no matter where you go. Be you and be great. Congratulations to the future class of 2025, students and parents who spent a lot of time to get you here. Have a great summer and stay safe. Welcome students, parents, and staff to the virtual eighth grade celebration. This year at Munger, our eighth grade promotion is once again very different and very special. Unfortunately, we could not celebrate your promotion face to face and see your smiling faces as you receive your certificates. Instead, we are celebrating our eighth grade graduating class online. Hey. Greetings from Central Michigan University. My name is Benita Jimenez, and on behalf of the CMU Trio Detroit Talent Search Program, I would like to congratulate you on your graduation. I salute you on your determination, commitment, and perseverance during these unprecedented times. You remain focused and committed to your academics. Continue to strive for excellence because we need you. Our future lawyers, our future doctors, our future engineers, our future teachers, and our future community activists. Congratulations and best wishes on the next four years. With Detroit Promise, I can keep my head on straight about my goal. I can share my ideas in a, a safe space. It's given me a lot of opportunities to get acquainted with different people and to get a better understanding of the nursing program and the nursing field. The Detroit Promise has supported me in many ways, um, you know, down to having a counselor that, you know, will be there to encourage me and show me and give me guidance, you know, on how to achieve my goals and make it to the finish line, um, as well as just, you know, having resources and seeing other people in similar positions as me. Uh, so, you, you know, I didn't feel alone. I didn't feel isolated. To be coming from Detroit and, and have school paid for, uh, you know, there's really no reason to give it away. You know, just try it, figure out what you like, what you don't like, rather than, you know, saying you never did it. The Detroit Promise has kept this promise. The Detroit Promise kept this promise. The Detroit Promise kept this promise. Greetings, Munger students and the future class of 2025. My name is Dr. Sean Black. I am an assistant superintendent of schools here in DPSCD, and I'm also a Detroit Public Schools graduate. Congratulations on reaching this milestone event in your academic career. At this time, I'd like to thank and acknowledge some people before sharing my key messages with all of you. First, thank you to Munger's administration, especially Principal Burroughs, for the opportunity to speak with you on this momentous occasion. Second, I'd like to acknowledge the teachers and support staff at Munger for all their hard work and dedication to, to their students during the pandemic. Thank you. Lastly, and most importantly, I would like to acknowledge the parents, grandparents, aunts, 
uncles, cousins, and other relatives that supported their Munger students to make this milestone event in your academic career a possibility. Thank you. Munger students, future class of 2025, your matriculation from the eighth grade to the ninth grade is, is a significant event in your educational career for multiple reasons. First, you'll be entering high school, which is the final stage of your educational career. Second, this may apply to some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this will be the first time to leave Munger if you've attended Munger since kindergarten continuously. And third, this is a major academic transition, meaning your grades from this point forward in high school and college will be placed on a transcript. Future class of 2025, I have some tips that I'd like to share with you for having a high quality high school experience. Prior to becoming an assistant superintendent here in DPSCD, the majority of my career was spent in high schools as a teacher, coach, assistant principal, principal, and assistant superintendent in another district. So with that being said, I've had a lot of experience with high schools, and I believe I have a somewhat good understanding of what a high quality high school experience consists of. So once again, these are my tips. It's not an exhaustive list, but hopefully these tips uh, will be helpful to you, to you as you make this transition. First, as I just stated, grades in high school are placed on the transcript. Grades on high school or college transcripts are final, which means you cannot do over anything. There are no more do-overs. So moving forward, you must give your best in every class, every day. Transcript grades can determine what colleges accept you or after colleges, what employers would like to interview you. Yes, let me make this clear. People will make judgments about you based upon letter grades on a piece of paper and they will not know you. So it's very important that the first impression that people in the future will make about you and your future opportunities are placed on a transcript. So therefore, do your best, give your best, and when you need support, ask for help. Never accept a poor grade if you can prevent it. So once again, if you need help, ask for support. Grades are a big part of high school and good grades make the experience that much better. Second, good attendance. Being present is a big part of the high school experience. You should not want to miss a minute of the high school experience as it should be the most memorable years of your life. Third, get involved. A great high school experience consists of being involved in different activities such as athletics, band, orchestra, dance, the chess club, etc. High school is a time to make connections that will last a lifetime. Often you will hear people say, my high school friends. That's indicative of connections made in high school when they are involved in activities. So once again, get involved. So a quick synopsis, number one, grades are important. Grades determine opportunities moving forward. Two, good attendance, be present, don't miss a minute of high school. And then third, get involved, make connections. Not only to your peers, but to the school community as well. In closing, I will leave you with a quote from civil rights leader, Malcolm X, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for today. Future class of 2025, when I was going from the eighth grade to the ninth grade, algebra one was not my thing. With that being said, I knew I had to do something to get past Algebra 1 because I knew it was coming in high school. So I voluntarily attended summer school so I could get the help and support I needed 
in Algebra 1. Because when I was in eighth grade, Algebra 1 was not taught. It was mentioned. Theories were kind of mentioned. But it was not a part of the curriculum in the school district that I attended. So knowing that, knowing the importance of a transcript and how it can affect future opportunities for myself, I attended summer school. I did not receive credit for that summer school class, that algebra summer school class, but nonetheless, I made connections with people and people are still friends to this very day from summer school in 1992. With that being said, Hopefully you take something from what I share with you as some type of nugget, something that will be beneficial uh, as you move forward, as you prepare for success at the high school level. Again, congratulations to the future class of 2025 on reaching this academic milestone. And I wish you all nothing but success, excuse me, and greatness at the high school level. Thank you for your time. And this might be the last time that you hear this, but go Munger. Take care. At the beginning of the school year, I remember I read your names on my class list for the new school year and I couldn't wait to match your name with your face. I wanted to learn everything about what motivates you, your favorite way to learn, and how to encourage you to learn virtually this school year. This school year has been an incredible journey, and I am so proud of all of you. You have worked so hard and made so much great progress this school year. You have learned not only how to use a computer for school, but how to fix the problems that came up with the, school, with the computer. You were so excited when you got your assignments to show up on the screen. I loved watching all of you never give up no matter how frustrated you got with virtual learning. There are no words to describe how proud I am of you. I am so proud of how much you have grown in your learning. You made teaching and learning virtually easy and the easiest job in the world, and I cannot thank you enough for your kindness and patience you showed me this school year. You will do such a great job in high school next year. I love all of you and will miss everyone. Congratulations on your promotional ceremony. I am so very excited for you and on to your next adventure. With love and care, congratulations.
Let me start the way I started every class this past school year. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day for many of you, and I'm very glad and also proud to be part of your celebration. I wish you the best things in the world. Uh, let me finish the way I ended all my classes this school year. Have a wonderful rest of the day. In this case, probably life would be more appropriate. And stay safe. Adios, guys. Bye. Hello class of 2025. I just want to say I'm so proud of all the hard work you guys have done this year. And I also want to say congratulations and I hope you have an amazing time in high school. Hello, eighth graders. This is Miss Campo. I just wanted to tell you how proud of you I am, how much I'm going to miss you, and I want you to always keep in mind that your Munger family will always be here cheering you on. Take care, stay safe, and we wish you the best. <laughs>